Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at two scripts I created to combine and extract objects without leaving a mess of temp nodes in the outliner. Combining objects and extracting faces is something I do constantly in Maya, and this makes it so much better. So let's check it out. So like I said, when I'm modeling stuff, I'm pretty much just selecting some faces, extracting them, selecting some objects, combining them together, doing other operations. And when you do this in Maya, you're left with all these ghost nodes and random groups and all this other annoying stuff. I'm sure this has happened to you. You've been modeling away and everything's fine. You're doing your work, whatever. And then when you're done all of your modeling stuff, you happen to open up the outliner to have a look at what's going on. Uh, and you see all this uh, like random crap. You've got all these like weird groups. You've got these ghost transforms. Some of them are hooked up. Some of them aren't. Sometimes they'll go away when you delete history and sometimes they won't. And it's just like a big hideous mess of like random wasted stuff, even though you've already combine all this stuff and it should be clean. It's just a big jambalaya of mess. So what I wanted to do was create two buttons that would basically do a clean combined and a clean extract and just avoid all that mess in the outliner. So let's check that out. So first, I'm just going to duplicate this guy by uh, holding shift and just cloning it over there. So let me just turn on the edges as well so we can see what we're doing. So here, I'm just going to like drag that guy over three times. So we've got the three spheres here. And I'm going to give a name to uh, this guy here, uh, just so we can see how the script works. So whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, YouTube 01A, let's say. Basically, what the tool does is we've got two new buttons here. We have the combine and we have the extract. And so what they do is you select the objects that you want to combine. And the combine script uses the pivot point of the last selected object and maintains the name of the last selected object. So if we want to basically combine these into this guy, so select this guy, this guy, and then the YouTube, that's why we did the name of it there. So if you watch the pivot here, when I click combine, click that, boom, combines it all, no mess in the outliner, cleans it up as you go, maintains the name of the last selected object and maintains the pivot point of the last selected object. Uh, so just uh, another quick one here. So let me just make a cube here. So let's say my cube is over here. And uh, again, my cube is not the important thing. My important thing is this. This is the main model that I'm working on. And its pivot is whatever over here, like it's it's right there. So again, you select the cube first, then select the stuff that you care about the pivot and the name and click combine. And boom, preserved, clean, pivot stays where it is, name stays where it is. You don't lose any of your work combining anything. Okay, and then so same thing with the extract. It will clean it up and do all the magic here. So select some faces. So like just randomly, I want to extract those faces into a separate model. Click the button and boom, you get extracted faces. So it didn't mess with the pivot point of the original asset. So that's all still how you left it. Its name is still intact. Instead, it creates a new asset and it centers the pivot of that asset to the extracted number of faces and just calls it extracted so you can find it in the outliner, as well as not creating any mess. See, we don't have any ghost transforms, groups, double groups, any of that weird um, crap. And then let's just do that a couple more times so it makes sense. So if I extracted like this guy plus this guy and click it, extract. Same thing, you get another extracted. That one's not main. Uh, this one's not all messed up. The pivot's still where it is. And then the pivot of this guy gets centered to its current selection. And that can also be really handy if you wanted to, let's say, extract a single face because you've got your face there and you click the extract button and you get the new mesh here and the pivot's already centered. So you're already ready to work. It's like right the center of what you were doing. So that's super handy as well. Let's just delete these uh, excess guys. We don't need those anymore. Delete those. OK, so this is our original asset. And the pivot's still where it is. It's still called YouTube or whatever. And I want to show you something really cool that I built into the tool. So normally in Maya, you've got combine, you have extract, which works on faces, and then you have separate, which works on objects to separate the individual polygon elements. So if you select some faces and run the extract, you get those faces extracted as a new asset. But if you're in object mode and you run the same button, you just click extract again, it will actually separate that into the separate mesh elements and it will center their pivots and name them separated so you can find them in the outliner. So 
this is also super handy. So basically you just have these two buttons to do all of your modeling needs. Now you don't have to like go to this menu and blah, 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 like dig around in there for like all these different commands to basically just do the same thing, combine stuff and extract stuff and uh, kind of repeat that all day. And then here's just one more quick one. So like you can just grab all this stuff, grab, 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 extracted 101, whatever, and just click combine, boom, nice and clean. It's called extracted. You could click extract with object mode and it will separate individ individual elements. From there, you can grab more stuff here and extract that and grab those two and combine and so on and so forth. Super clean. Like, basically, I can't live without this tool now that I created it because, like, I can't go back to all that mess in the outliner and, like, having to deal with all those extra clicks when I just want to, like, model and, like, not think about it. I don't even need to have the outliner open because it, it's going to stay clean the whole time. Probably one of my favorite scripts that I've ever created. Super handy. And then finally, I wanted to try and maintain the hierarchy as you combine and extract stuff because I found it annoying when I combined two objects and they were in a group or something and I was exporting to Unity and I needed to keep the prefab set up correctly. It would toss the objects outside of the group and then I'd have to go search for them and like parent them back in and rename them and all that stuff. So I wanted the script to do the best job that it could of maintaining what you have currently in here. So as I select this guy here, and it's called P Sphere one and it's under group one, and I extract something from it. So I'm going to click the extract button. It's going to put it under that same group. It's still under the group one or whatever. So it tries to maintain this guy's place in the hierarchy uh, as best that it could. And then same thing if you take that guy and combine him back into that guy. Click the combine. We're still sitting under group one. So it's not going to the root node of the world. It's not like messing up any of this stuff. It still leaves it where you were working. And then uh, sphere number two, here's the uh, little bit more complex example. So same thing. It's like a group within a group within a whatever. And click the extract and it remembers it goes into group one there. And uh, same thing if you want to combine it the extracted guy then the other one and then combine that and it remembers see it stays under group one instead of going into group zero one or going somewhere else in the hierarchy basically you just don't have to worry about the hierarchy you just run the tool and hopefully it figures it out and uh, even if you've got not a group per se but a mesh under a mesh so if i were to extract some faces of the mesh parented under the mesh let's see what happens Click it and see they're still both parented under sphere number three and the hierarchy is maintained. And then let's see if I can combine these guys. Let's see what happens. Still maintained under sphere three. So all good. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an amazing day.